Guys, he's here, he's home. Sherbert Cookie, we pulled him, and we're going to be using him here today in our new team composition. Uh, guys, he will absolutely carry you to Masters, high Masters even. Um, He is busting and he's sussing. He came back to life, he was dead. But yeah, guys, let's go ahead and hop into the team now. All right, guys, so on this team, we're going to be using Finn, Werewolf, BTS Cookie, Sherbert, and Black Pearl Cookie. As far as treasures go, we're going to be using Revive Feather, Attack Scroll, and Cooldown Clock. Now, do keep in mind, guys, you can flex out the Revive Feather for a Monocle if need be. It just depends on the team comp you play against. If they're a debuff heavy team, it might be better to run Monocle more than Feather. But that's just going to be determined by you guys. And also, guys, if you want to see this testing done live and see me use these teams live, make sure you come check us out at twitch.tv forward slash you can't see me. We stream here just about every day at 2 p.m. CST. And also, maybe join the Discord and subscribe to the channel, too, because only, like, 5 percent of you guys are actually subscribed anyways guys let's hop into the toppings now and talk about why, what this team is good against all right guys on finn we're gonna be running full swift chocolate so they focus on damage resist and cooldown you just want to make sure the cooldown is under 17 percent because it will cuck your werewolf cookie if it's not heading on to werewolf cookie now we're gonna be using full almonds where they focus on damage resist, hp and attack speed you want to make sure this boy has as much damage risk and hp as possible really and attack speed just a little bit of extra damage that you can get out with them on sherbet cookie we're gonna be running full Four almonds and one swift chocolate where they focus on damage risk and cooldown. And the reason, guys, I'm not using full swift chocolates is because he's really, really squishy. And also, I didn't have enough swift chocolates to spare. So, we're just running this comp right here because uh, he does die really easily without the almonds. On Black Pearl Cookie, we're going to be having full swift chocolates where they focus on damage risk and cooldown. You want to make sure you get at least 20% cooldown or 20% damage risk if you can. If you can't, that's fine. You just really want to make sure you have a main focus on damage risk so your pearl doesn't die too, too easily. And try to get as high as a uh, cooldown as you can. And finally, on the BTS cookie, we're going to be running full swift chocolates just with a focus on cooldown. If you can get any extra attack or attack speed, that is a little bit of extra cream on top. But if you don't have that, that's fine too. All right, guys, hopping into our first match here against this guy. He's using a solo tank in the front with triple DPS. He's using a Frost Queen as Sherbert. And probably either a vampire or... Oh, he's using double healer, actually. I thought he was using triple DPS. Usually when you see a single tank on the front, it's usually like um, a triple DPS comp. But um, that's not the case with this guy. He's running double healer. So we're going to have to kill him really, really quick. Uh, because after that one minute mark, we are going to get shredded pretty fast by... Uh, by the sussy man himself, uh, Sherbert Cookie. Why do I feel like it's going slower than normal? I don't know why I feel like that. Anyways, we're past the one minute mark now. Uh, this is when Sherbert absolutely starts shredding down the cookies, which is uh, what we want. <laughs> we want him to shred down the cookies because he is big boy, big Batungus Batutus. Anyways, heal up there. Nice shield by Finn, giving a little bit of extra health there. Hopefully, okay, Sherbert did die there, which is great. That's what we wanted. Now he's going to pop back in with a second ability. Okay. I think, I think we, I think we know how to call this match now, guys. Going back under, and we're going to absolutely demolish this guy now. Yeah, uh, we deleted this guy. We killed him pretty easily. We only had one revive proc'd off, and you know that boy, Sherbert, absolutely, absolutely popped off. That's the first one on the board, boys. Absolutely insane. Sicko mode 1-0. Looking at the damage here, my boy did 1.5 million damage. Actually, a lot lower than he normally does. He normally does a lot higher damage. My boy, Wolf, though, does take home the crown for top DPS. 2.9 million damage. Absolutely slapped the enemy team. All right, guys, hopping into our second match now. This is a team that does kind of cuck this team. Um, It's really Yam. Yam really messes with... With Sherbert Cookie because uh, Yam doesn't get frozen when he's spinning to win, and also the amount of uh, the amount of debuff resist he gets, he does get nullified a little bit, but he still does have a lot of debuff resist in general because of his ability. So yeah, guys, um, this team does kind of cuck you because he can't breach the back line and do a little bit more damage to Sherbert than uh, than is than is like to be seen. So. Uh, let's see how we do against the team here. Also, Vampire is going to be snappy, sniping Sherbert as well. Uh, but yeah, so mainly, right, we hope that Sherbert does die here uh, after he uses his ability, preferably. Yep, there we go. Uses his ability. Back on top. Now look at him. My boy's going in with the massive amount of damage. Pearl did take the snipe there, which is actually okay. Because that means Sherbert's still alive and he's going to do a, ma a massive amount of damage here. Yeah. Uh, Yam did get the little little buffy boofer there, but it doesn't matter. We won this match. Rank 1500. Who we beat his ass. Uh, absolutely destroyed. L, we win. Who win? Oh, boys? Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, guys. Oh, 3.4 million damage from the boy Sherbert Cookie. Wow, we he popped off. All right, guys, hopping into a second match now. This is a generic comp that you do see a lot now. Uh, this comp actually works pretty well this season. Um, but I do prefer Purple Yam instead of the Choco Warehound in the front. I think he's a bit better uh against uh Sherbert than the Choco Warehound is. 
But nonetheless, this team, um, this team does slap. I use this team to counter this team, actually. Guys, chat, do you guys like to hear when I moan? Like, yeah? Uh, when I win matches and stuff? Because chat said they don't like to hear it. But I think you guys love to hear me moan. 3-0. Hey, yo. All right, guys, time to face the Bussy Busters 9000 in the fourth match here. Thornbreaker Kingdom. Okay, he's out of an, straight out of an MCU film. He's using the same comp as we fought before, except their ascensions are a lot higher. So hopefully this goes the same way. We can absolutely spread their cheeks open. Uh, but, you know, sometimes that doesn't happen. Hey, yo, kill him. Dead. Uh, the thing is, right, you really need that one minute mark to do, be doing big damage with Sherbert Cookie. Uh, because before that, he does decent damage, but he doesn't do, like, top tier damage. Anyways, let's go, guys. Under the sea, bitch. Absolutely deleted. Yeah, their whole team got deleted here. This team works really, really well, guys. And I think this is probably, I would say, probably the best Sherbert comp around right now. Now, I do see comps as well. Instead of using um that boy Werewolf in the front, they're using Crunchy Chip. I have yet to use that team yet. So, that might be a test for another day. But, yeah, guys. Uh, absolutely slaughtered. 4-0 now. Hey, yo. All right, guys. Hopping into our sixth match now. Uh, we're probably gonna get absolutely deleted by this guy. This guy is pretty high rank and also judging just from his power alone He looks kind of cracked out of his mind. Uh, so yeah, okay. Yeah, they're running a very very high DPS team If they manage to kill or if they will because if they're there, probably gonna kill if when they kill uh, my sherbet cookie This is not gonna be a good day for us. The only silver lining here The only thing that could possibly save us is if not nah, he uh, wait, we did kill one of their cookies Wait, that's good though. Wait, this could be good. This, 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 this right here, this could be good for us. We hit the one minute mark now. We've already used their feather. If, if, come on, just pop, 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 pop. come on, let's go. We killed, we killed one of their DPS. Come on, get him. Yaga, 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 Yaga. Come on. Oh no, we lost. That is, um, damn, we lost. We almost won that. We almost won that. We just got dipped out there. Down bad didgeridoo. Uh, that, that stains our record. We almost had a perfect record. Okay, so we're 4-1 now. All right, guys, hopping into our sixth match now against this guy, Kanji Kanji looking ass. Uh, hopefully we don't get smacked like we did the last match. We almost had that match. If we would have had that match, that would have been peak. But we didn't. So we're on to this match now, and we're going to try to absolutely destroy and demolish this guy. Uh, hey, yo, brother, man. Come on, Sherbert Cookie popping off with an absolute banger. Um, yeah, I, I will say something, guys. Uh, that boy, Captain Caviar, uh, he, he puts in work. He puts in work because even after you kill him, uh, his ability can still go off and hit you, which is uh, kind of cringe. But yeah, we won that guy, guys there. We won that. Uh, we're what? Uh, yeah, five and one now. We're five and one now, I think, right? Five and one. Absolutely smashing and heading into our last match now all right guys for our final match i thought it'd be pretty fun to face a summoner comp to see how this team can hold up against the summoner comp summoner comps have been getting like b basically bitch slapped around for the last couple seasons so hopefully um hopefully summoners do well here uh, i really want to see summoners come back to the spotlight as much as i hated them i feel kind of bad for them because i feel like every update they just keep smacking new and more things uh against summoners they keep stacking the odd against summoners really and i and i really hate to see it so hopefully they win here I know I've never said that before. Like, I hope they beat me. But I actually do hope this team beats me. Um, I really do want to see if they beat me. I think they are going to beat me. Come on. One minute mark. Yeah, okay. They're going to beat me. Please, God, beat me. Okay, they beat me. They beat me, guys. They beat me. Thank you. Mm. Hey, yo, uh, we lost. And I honestly, Summoners needed that win right there. So, guys, we ended off the day 5-2 and two with this team. Tell me what you guys think about this team in your comments below. I think this team pretty is pretty cracking snaps along even but yeah guys that's gonna do it for today's video hope you guys enjoyed and i'll catch you guys in the next one later bye, -bye.